hello hello and welcome to my channel if it's your first time here welcome thank you so much for joining me my name is Kat I am the nurse flipper and I am a full-time reseller so I do this to make a living I quit nursing about a year and a half ago and today's video is continuing from last week's we are going to research some more plush because plush are everywhere garage sales goodwill bins yard sales garage sales and yard sales I guess are kind of the same also estate sales and online auctions so today they're not really going to go in a pricing order they are all ones that sold for between three and four hundred dollars so I think these you might be a little more likely to find than those high priced ones I showed you last week even though they are out there so let's go ahead and take a look at ones that sold between three and four hundred dollars up first is a conjunction so it is with two brands that are both well known it is a Steiff Ralph Lauren polo bear this is a Steiff polo Ralph Lauren bear chairman of the board he is in a cute little suit you can see there limited edition he sold for $375 here you can see this bear up close and his cute little pin such pinstripe suit and tie and here on the tag I did want to show you he does say polo bear he is numbered 568 which they did put in the title and that was a great sale at $375 up next is a brand we did not see in the high high dollar plush and that is Mattel and if you are like me and you know anything about toys Mattel is a giant brand and if you find some older rarer pieces they can be worth a lot especially if they are still in the box like this one was this is a very rare vintage Mattel angel bunny snuggle snuggle bunny infant plush they did put bnib which means brand new in box this one sold for 399 dollars here you can see it up close never out of that original box excellent condition and a great sale at 399 dollars all right we have another disney we saw some disney in the last video this one is a Disney hidden Mickey and the Duffy bear is what is known for the little hidden Mickey on the paws and the feet. This one they did put pre Duffy bear so it was before the creation of that and this one was a great sale. This is a Disney Parks Hidden Mickey pre-Duffy 17 inch pink plush teddy. It was new with tags and it did come with its storybook. Sold for $400.03. Here you can see this bear up close with its original hang tag. I did want to show you here on the back. It does have that it was from Disney Parks and it was a Disney Bear Pink. And then on the tush tag, what you are looking at here, it says Walt Disney World. So this one actually came from the parks versus just having a Disney tag. So keep an eye out for those. And this one was a great sale at $400. Up next is another Hello Kitty. We saw them last week. We are going to see them again. This one is not a Choco Cat, so it's not worth over a thousand, but it is worth hundreds. This one is a pink Hello Kitty. This is a Build-A-Bear Hello Kitty limited edition Valentine's Day heart plush they did put with with extras which would be the outfit and things like that this one sold for three hundred and forty five dollars here you can see it up close the hello kitty with the heart imprints for a valentine's day special and i did want to show you the tag it just says fsha hearts and has that original build a bear tag and a great sale at three hundred and forty five dollars this next one is a Douglas Oliver, which is a brand we did not see last week, and it is a calico cat that sells for hundreds. 
This is a Douglas Oliver Calico Clad 11 inch plush. This one was an auction, got 43 bids and sold for $405. I'm just gonna pop up here on the screen for you. This was a $28.99 starting price and it ended up going all the way to $405. You can see there was a lot of action those last two minutes with a jump from $375 to $405 in less than a minute. And that was a great sale ending up at $405. All right, we have another Build-A-Bear. Again, I have had friends sell these things for over a thousand dollars they do sell people do pay it is real it is real and this one is another build-a-bear that sold for hundreds this is a my melody build-a-bear retired 2010 so this is not even a vintage piece it is a hello kitty sanrio here you can see the hello kitty with the bunny rabbit ears and the bow and this one didn't have the original tank hang tags but you can see they do show the build-a-bear tush tag and a great sale at almost four hundred dollars all right this next brand i know because I sold one of them. Mine only sold for about $35 to $40. I sold a Commonwealth, which is the brand Santa Rubber Face here recently. This one sold for quite a bit more than mine. It sold for hundreds and it is an Angry Birds plush. This is an Angry Birds construction hat, Bad Piggies plush from 2011. It was Commonwealth branded with the tag, sold for $400. Here you can see that piggy and the hard hat up close. If you remember, Angry Birds was quite popular not too long ago. I don't know if it's still very popular. You'll have to let me know if you know. And here is that hang tag showing Angry Birds. The tag's not in excellent condition, but they do still have it, so that does make a difference. And this one was a great sale at $400. This next one is not one I was familiar with, and that is Charlie Bears. So keep an eye out for this brand. This is a retired 2014 Charlie Bears Captain Snuggleton designed by Isabel Lee, sold for $375. Here you can see this teddy up close. He has little bells on his collar and the hang tag here. I wanted to zoom in a little bit and it says Charlie Bears and it says Bears with personal personalities so keep an eye out for charlie bears that was a great sale at 375 dollars all right we have a jelly cat we had a jelly cat worth over a thousand in the last video this one is just worth hundreds but they again they're out there you can find them i know i found a jelly cat myself so this one is a pink rabbit this is a Jelly Cat Bashful Strawberry Bunny Rabbit Plush 20 inch jumbo stuffed. They did put stuffed animal, hot pink, sold for a best offer on $400. Here you can see that pink bunny up close. Not, again, not overly impressive. I will tell you the quality of these you can feel if you ever find one. They are very, very well made. They are very, very soft plush. And here on the tush tag, you can see it clearly says Jelly Cat and a great sale at almost $400. All right, up next is something I believe I brought up in my original plush video, which was about a year ago. And that is the main characters of a lot of shows are mass produced but then when you get to those little side characters not as many are made so a lot of times the ones worth more money are the least popular characters because there weren't as many made and this next one is a care bear and i believe that is exactly what happened this is noble heart horse with tags care bear 
Care Bear Cousin. So again, the Cousins were not as popular as your main Care Bears. This one is from 2004. It sold for $400. Here you can see the horse up close cute little purple hair and then I wanted to show you this was on an American greetings tag it was originally seven dollars six dollars and 99 cents but it sold for four hundred dollars all right we have another Ralph Lauren I think we had a, I think we had a polo bear before this is a Ralph Lauren worth hundreds of dollars this is a Polo Ralph Lauren 2016 USA Olympic plush teddy bear. This one is a limited edition. It was limited to only 300. It is number 216 of 300. Sold for a best offer on 399. Here you can see that bear up close with its little Ralph Lauren polo tag. And I did want to show you the tush tag here. It does have its number 216 of 300. So if you see something limited edition, you're more likely going to make more money on something that was limited. And the lower the number, typically the more rare the piece is going to be. And this one was a great sale at almost 400. Up next is another name I hadn't heard of. So I want to make sure I show you these. This is another one new in the box. Keep an eye out for plush that looks vintage or older that is still new because it, it very likely could be valuable. This is a vintage little snoozums dog stuffed plush happiness express club. I have never heard of this until I did this video sold for $399. Here you can see that puppy up close and it's little jammies. And I wanted to show you the bottom of the box here where it says little snoozum. How you pose them is how they stay. So this is one you would pose it. It would keep its position and a great sale at almost $400. All right, another video game plush. Do not know this, totally unfamiliar, but I'm showing you these and I look them up myself so we'll have a little more knowledge when we go out looking. So this one is an Xbox 360 plush. This is Blinks the Time Sweeper plush from Xbox. This one was an auction, got 25 bids and sold for $400 and five dollars now here you can see their starting price was 99 dollars, so it was a little higher and i always recommend you start at the lowest you are willing to take unless you're feeling really brave and then here you can see at the end of this it ended up going to 405 dollars. and i also want to point out it says it the bids were 60 days ago this was not a 60 day auction it was a seven day auction but i'm researching over the last 90 days so this was just a seven day auction it wasn't extra long and great great sale at 405 dollars up next is another vintage mattel and there were a lot of these selling around this price point so it sold for canadian 530 which is u.s close to four hundred dollars this is a vintage mattel my child pet cat pink doll plush from the 1980s again sold for canadian 530 which is close to us 400 here you can see this little kitty cat up close beautiful blue eyes in excellent condition and as i said there were quite a few of this toy this one is not in its original box or with the original tag and still sold for four hundred dollars up next is another rushton creations this one is a little duck so you saw some that sold for thousands some sell for hundreds some are worth less than a hundred it happens but definitely keep an eye out for rushton this is a Rushton Star Creation Vintage Duck Rubber Face Doll. It was an auction, got 26 bids. I did not get the starting bid on this one. It sold for $405. Here you can see her up close with her pretty little pink flowers. And again, want to show you the Rushton Company Atlanta, Georgia tag and a great sale at $405. Up next is a South Park plush. I sold Mr. Hanky Poo, a piece of poop plush, 
for $60 and under a day. Probably could have got more and I paid a dollar for it at an estate sale in the dog, the dog toy basket. Watch, watch for flush and watch for South Park. This is a South Park talking metrosexual Kyle. This one was an auction, got 10 bids, sold for $415. So this one, the starting price was $100, ended up at $415. Here you can see Kyle up close in his sunglasses. And I wanted to show you this one does have the tag still. It says metrosexual Kyle, try me, I talk. And that was a great sale at $415. Up next is a Mr. Bingle. I am not familiar with Mr. Bingle. If you are, let me know another one that sells for hundreds. This is a large 2005 rare Mr. Bingle plush. This is from New Orleans Maison Blanche Dillard's with tags took a best offer on $395. Here you can see this guy up close really really good condition and i wanted to show you it did have the original uh dillard's tag it was originally 18 dollars, making it a great sale at 395 dollars all right we have more south park this is a set of them got 69 bids on auction this is 1998 Comedy Central South Park plush dolls. Al, Jimbo, Leanne, Garrison, and Puppet got 69 bids. I did not get the starting bid on this one. I do apologize, but it sold for $415. Here you can see the group of these dolls up close. And I did want to show you these clearly had the South Park tag watch out for south park i'm telling you south park definitely can be some money all right we are down to our last three and this next one is a care bear most care bears are not worth much i will tell you that because they were very mass produced this one however was a limited edition this is a Grumpy Bear Plush 2008 Special Edition. It was still new in the box. This one was an auction, got 47 bids, and sold for $417. I did get the starting price on this one for you. They started it at $50. And here you can see it up close in the box, never taken out, and a great sale at $417. All right, up next is a monster, and there were a lot of these selling for hundreds and hundreds of dollars. So remember what this looks like. This is a vintage 1986 Amtoy My Pet Monster 24 inch with the original handcuffs. This one sold for a best offer on $400. Here you can see this ugly monster up close. You should be able to remember him definitely watch out these are selling they are selling good and a great sale at four hundred dollars all right the last one is a giant flamingo it is melissa and doug and there are quite a few melissa and doug that fetch higher money so watch for melissa and doug tags especially if you see a giant pink flamingo this is a Melissa and Doug five foot plush flamingo in great shape. This one sold for $325. Here you can see a picture of this giant flamingo. They took pictures right outside their storage unit. And here on the bottom, it does have a base to keep it standing and a great sale. Watch out for those giant plush. For $300, you can find a box and figure out how to ship it. I hope you have enjoyed this. If you want me to do lower, let me know. I'll try and do some lower plush videos. If you didn't watch the original one that we did last week with ones worth thousands of dollars, go check that out. Check out the rest of the research videos. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Come hang out with us over on Whatnot. I'm excited to see you over on Whatnot. I appreciate you watching. I hope you've had a wonderful, wonderful weekend. I hope to see you Tuesday night on our reseller podcast at 8 p.m. Eastern. If not, I will see you on the next one. All right, tonight on Whatnot, you don't want to miss it. I am doing another vintage and estate sterling silver sale. All of these amazing 
sterling items will be available for only a five dollar start so make sure you come over look at this amazing panel bracelet some of these are worth hundreds of dollars tonight on whatnot five dollar starts on every single piece including sets and i do have a few sets use my code get 15 dollars free if you haven't come over look at this ring all vintage estate so tonight at 8 p.m eastern make sure you come over to whatnot and join us for our sale and again get 15 dollars free if you are not signed up so you could get some of this for completely free see you tonight mm -hmm.